Jackie Edwards was a Jamaican songwriter, producer, and recording artist whose career took in ska, R&B, soul, rock steady, reggae, and ballads. His music career spanned over three decades during which he wrote and recorded many romantic songs, several of which became hits. Though his name is not immediately recognized among the young generation of today, his crooning voice never died. In this video, I looked at the career of this Jamaican-born singer and also examined his death registration form to understand his death in the year 1992. I am Nigel D. Summer. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. This is the death registration form of Jackie Edwards. I will examine this form to understand the cause or causes of his death as well as read through his basic information and elaborate. I will start by looking at the top of the form. At the top of the form it says death registration form death in the district of Crossroads Parish St. Angel. Below that in the first section, it says Place of death Not all Hospital So Jackie Edwards died At this hospital We'll start on the left of the form and look at his basic information before going to the right of the form to see the cause of his death. On the left of the form it says, Particulars of Deceased. Date of death, 9th August, 1992. In simpler term, August 9, 1992. Below that, we see full name, and they wrote Wilfred Edwards. So his full name, his name at birth, is Wilfred Edwards. Below that you see sex and they wrote male. So yes, he was a male. Beside that we see condition which which means marital status and they wrote married. So Jackie Edwards was married at the time of his death. Below that we see age and they wrote 58. And continue on the form, we see occupation or calling and they wrote Professional singer. That's right. He was a professional singer. 
Jackie Edwards was a songwriter, recording artist, and producer. From a little boy, he loved to sing. As a teenager, he began performing at concerts and pretty much anywhere he could perform in front of an audience. At around age 20 or 21, he came to the attention of record producer Chris Blackwell. At the time, Chris Blackwell was almost the same age as Jackie Edwards. Blackwell was born in 1937 and Jackie Edwards was born 1938 so both were in their early 20s when they met when both young men met Chris Blackwell was just building his career as a record producer and was looking for talents he could work with he had just set up his record label called Island Records. Both Blackwell and Edwards, they connected immediately. So Jackie Edwards began recording for Island Records. Jackie Edwards wrote the songs he recorded and between 1960 and 1961 he recorded four number one singles for Island Records, Chris Blackwell's record label. In 1962 Chris Blackwell made the decision to move Island Records to London, England. He convinced Jackie Edwards to go with him and of course Jackie Edwards agreed. In England, Jackie Edwards worked as a singer and songwriter for Island Records. Because Island Records was a startup at the time, Jackie Edwards also helped out with delivering records. You know, Jackie Edwards was an excellent songwriter. Evidence of this can be recognized in the way he wrote the lyrics of his songs. He was also a romantic man. Mm -hmm. Evidence of this can be heard in how he used his voice and the way he socialized with ladies. He kept writing songs that became hits, such as Keep On Running and Somebody Help Me, which became number one singles in England for the Spencer Group. Jackie Edwards duet with another artist signed to Island Records, a Jamaican-born singer called Millie Small. Together they recorded many songs, including Never Again in 1965, Dearest, 1966, Tell Me Right Now, 1966, and My Desire, 1966. As you all know, Millie Small is best remembered for her international hit single, My Boy Lollipop, in 1964, for Chris Blackwell's record label. Island Records. The song was one of the, the, the songs that introduced ska music to the world. And Jackie Edwards and Millie Small not only recorded songs together but they were so connected as artists that it it, it seems as if they were lovers but they were not you know they got along very well anyway after leaving island records 
Jackie Edwards continued to write and record songs, releasing albums and even produce and co-produce recordings. Much of his later songs were produced by Bonnie Lee. Alright, so let's continue on the form. Below occupation or calling we see birthplace and they wrote Saint Elizabeth. Yes, so Jackie Edwards was born in Saint Elizabeth. Now let's move over to the right of the form where we will look at the cause of his death. So over on the right side of the form it says cause of death immediate cause cardiogenic shock due to dilated cardiomyopathy let me read that again it says cause of death immediate cause cardiogenic shock due to dilated cardiomyopathy let's start with the first cause cardiogenic shock what is that cardiogenic shock also known as cardiac shock happens when your heart cannot pump enough blood and oxygen to the brain and other vital organs. Cardiogenic shock is a life-threatening emergency, but it is treatable if diagnosed right away. So cardiogenic shock was caused by dilated cardiomyopathy. Some people would say dilated. So dilated cardiomyopathy. <laughs> what is dilated cardiomyopathy? Dilated cardiomyopathy is a type of heart muscle disease that causes the heart chambers to thin and stretch, growing larger. Dilated cardiomyopathy makes it harder for the heart to pump blood to the rest of the body. So, we now understand that Jackie Edwards died from cardiogenic shock due to dilated cardiomyopathy. In simple terms, Jackie Edwards died from a heart attack. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.